And it's actually nice to come here for a sunset time. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Because the sunset comes right over. I've never seen a McDonald's like this, so it is quite cool. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode here from Clan Amado in New Zealand. We are today gonna explore Taupo. I don't know if you can see us, we're both red like strawberries. We went skiing yesterday. If you, have, if you missed that episode, go back and watch it. It was an amazing experience. Skiing on an active volcano, actually. Glenn, tell us a bit about Taupo. So, guys, Taupo is well known for its great lake, the biggest lake in New Zealand, this, and it's the size of Singapore. You believe it or not? No way. Yeah, it is. It is, Madeline. We do have around 42,000 people in this town of Taupo. Not just in the town itself, but also on the on the outskirts, including the outskirts. So, we are currently going for a walk in the town. Uh, and show you guys an insight of what life is like in Tapo. So, it's a very uh, family orientated place and a great place to get away for one or two nights. It's, it's well enough to explore everything. So We got very lucky yesterday. Yesterday was an amazing sunny day. Today a bit cloudy and I'm freezing. <laughs> or maybe it's because we have a sunburn. I don't know. I think that's one of the factors because we're burnt that you feel the cold but more. Like, and this is another cool thing. <laughs> they have like a, a golf hole over there in the water. I don't know if you can see that. Believe it or not, like uh, Tapu is known for its golf course, and it's so funny. They have like here on the lake um, a golf, like how do you call it, a golf hole in the middle of the, it's a challenge. Uh, a lake, and it's kind of a challenge. So if you uh, make the shot, I don't know, the golf leg. Hole in one. If you make the whole one, is that what you call it? Yeah. Then you get like a prize to win. I don't think I'm any good at <laughs> I'm not good at golf, so I'm not gonna participate unfortunately. I'm no good whatsoever. And there's the C B D area guys. <laughs> what? Well, even one life, it's so busy. Yeah, here. so right. the C B D area starts here, but like we actually we're actually gonna check out this McDonald's clan. This is this so strange. Is a special McDonald's. But this McDonald's. is a special McDonald's. I don't know if you know Tavo, but actually we drove by at this McDonald's yesterday and we were quite fascinating because I seen an airplane so this McDonald's is so unique because of the plane it has in its backyard wanna... which you can actually sit in and eat supposedly so we're gonna check it out there's actually people getting off so I think you can eat on the on the plane itself so oh my god I just read this this is actually the world's coolest McDonald's I can't believe it see I told you Taupon you see the world's coolest and McDonald's. we are here I mean, I mean, what's you know, the chances? <laughs> we never go to McDonald's, but like this might be the first time we check out a McDonald's. Let's go. There's the plaque, there's the sign from 34,000 restaurants. It's, probably, it's the coolest McDonald's in the world. It's insane. I've never seen a McDonald's like this, so it is quite cool. And it's empty as well, so it's during the week. That is a nice Porsche. Welcome to the world's coolest McDonald's. Okay, let's check this out. Bit of a funny one. Never seems, seen anything like it. Seems it. like a real one. What the hell? This is insane. Oh my god! <laughs> so cool. Baby, you can't eat here. <laughs> yeah, we have to plan to ourselves. That's why it's wow. best. That's why it's best to come during the week. Oh wow! No, there's history. There was a plane here from the. It was a plane here from New Zealand. They have all these small planes. The domestic flight. So it was a real flight, it was a real airplane. Wow. Final flight. When was the final? In 66. 1966. Wow. And there's the old cockpit. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of buttons on a plane. I don't know how they control. I can't believe like a plane like this flew one time. Why? Does it look so old? It looks so, it looks so dutch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. That's really cool. It's quite a few seats, yeah? Yeah. How's a little birdie? Made its first flight in 1935. You enjoying your flight, sir? Very pleasant flight indeed. It's nice and relaxing. No stress whatsoever. So, yeah. Great. I'm enjoying We'd it. We love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Dinner is coming right up. Thank you very much. I'm very hungry. You better hurry up. <laughs> the birds are enjoying themselves too. So cool. So cool. So cool. The birdies. They're looking for food. <laughs> Even have the cars parked right directly under the McDonald's super plan. Great way to make McDonald's unique in Tapo. So we are currently 
on a walk through the streets of CBD and Tapo. As you can see, it is a bit cloudy. It is thriving with life. It is busy. People are out doing their thing. But we also have the smell of rotten eggs in Tapo due to the geothermal as well. A bit like Rotorua, which is really intense there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the restaurant there behind me? It's called Indian Affair. That's actually where we had um, dinner last night because we like Indian food and it was delicious even though it doesn't look that appealing from outside. Absolutely amazing, right? Probably one of the nicest Indian cuisines I've had in a long, long time. And it's here in Tapo. So we are actually on a hunt for the cafe, for Madeline's needs. And also my needs of caffeine. Um, are we actually walking to the, the coffee shop or the... The coffee grinder, is it? Ten minutes. No, it's just a. It's called the storehouse. But I found this little arts and craft, and I want to go in. So Madeline is in spacecraft, exploring while I'm outside waiting for her. the usual. She does love window shopping. I always have to wait for her. <laughs> town is thriving, guys. The town is thriving out here. It's a wonderful sighting. I think it's a lot of people coming on vacation down in Tapo because it is well known for that. Madeline is exploring the cozy corner, this cozy little mall district. What I like is that they have these um, local pop up, so they have a lot of uh, local pro products, which is great um, compared to supermarkets, you know, you get like local vegetables. Everything comes from um, New Zealand. Did they even say where it's coming from? Hastings? Oh, no. Turanga avocados, that's where we are. Cozy corner. We're in the coffee corner. Oh, I mean the coffee corner. What's it? Coffee corner, yeah. Coffee corner, and they have matcha latte. My favorite. I hope it's nice. Looks nice. Somebody, somebody's excited. Yeah. Which is ordered food. What did you order, Glenn? Chickpea casserole. Chickpea casserole. Bit of a uh, something different. Ah, nice. That looks a bit fancy. That's you can make that as well. Yeah. You're an expert barista. That's very good. Cheers. 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 Well, it looks nice. It's very expensive for me to eat in a restaurant. Yeah. Because I'm never, I'm never, I'm never full. No, that's why he. That's why he never wants to go because he's still starving afterwards. Yeah. I, I eat for three people always, three or four people. So. Madeline, the sun just came out. We had a delicious kind of breakfast slash uh, lunch, yeah. and now we are walking the streets again. Yeah, let's walk back. And what do you think? The food was absolutely amazing. Yeah, was I think nice. it was really kind of organic, really high quality it's food. It's a very organic kind of shop and I think it's very underrated. It's called not a coffee corner, it's called the cozy corner. Oh, the cozy corner. Cozy corner. I mean, it is cozy. It is right in the corner as well. Yeah, under, this so little, under this little sitting area. So. so they have a lot of gluten-free options. So if you're into organic kind of breakfast. And, I mean, they have scrambled. I had scrambled eggs. So I nice. had a chickpea casserole. Yeah. With really nice I have to say there's another Indian restaurant they don't special deals guys lunch special yeah. where are you walking to? walk around in the CBD a lot of coffee shops everyone's busy I'm wondering what everybody's doing it's, it's break time Madeline ah. that's why it's Not break time bad. it's driving with life here are you enjoying your window shopping experience Madeline? <laughs> yeah very much Right guys, we are actually heading back to the car and then, where are we going then, Madeleine? The, 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 the spa. The spa? The, the spa terminals. park. Yeah. That's where the terminal pills are, the geothermal pills. A great way to finish the day always. A the relaxation, full of, full of great minerals. <laughs> oh, the sun is making this day so much more special. And the sun comes out. 
definitely it's time to get the shorts out, guys. <laughs> time to get the shorts out. <laughs> we definitely chose the shorts the right days. We have, we have. We have I wasn't expecting the weather though to come out so well. So Oh look at this, look at look at the seaside. It looks so nice and pleasant. It looks like the sea actually, not yeah. the lake. <laughs> oh it actually is the lake, yeah. It looks like the sea though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because you can't see the other side really. We have they seem to have more alert in a lot of the towns now. It yeah, must be becoming a trend cool. here in uh, New Zealand. It's a great way to display creative people here in New Zealand. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ah, it is beautiful. Looks like the honeybee. Yeah. yeah. Great time. presentation. So, Madeline, there is Dollarama over to the left. <laughs> it's not the one from uh, Canada. Canada. Yeah, we've uh, there's plenty of Dollaramas in Canada, and it gives us memories. We haven't seen a Dollarama yet in uh, New Zealand. <laughs> Oh, look at that little cozy bakery. Dollarama, yeah. That's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, why not? He loves it's cheap, that's why. It's cheap and cheerful. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice sunglasses. They're $10 each, though. Oh, incense. Incense smells so nice. I love incense. Here's a main street over here as well, Madeline. Driving with businesses. We could, it's like the the broad walk. <coughs> Sorry? It's like the broad walk. Broadway, as the Glen calls it, the walk here on the lake, there's mainly restaurants here where you can eat something and enjoy the view over the lake. Yeah, sushi, KFC, Subway, all your typical franchises. And then some coffee shops, restaurants. No reinstallation. Oh, wow, yeah. It's really cool. I think it's made out of brass. That's beautiful, Madeline, yeah? It's that water brass. Oh, wow. No, it's wood. Oh, it is wood. Yeah. It's really nice. Where are you going? To the water? To the Great Lake? Ah, there's the mountains in the background, Madeline. What's the name of the mountain? I can't pronounce it. What's the name of the village? Waka Paka. Waka Paka. It's crazy that we were just over there we just yesterday over skiing. There yesterday. It's like a and I see him so far away. It's one and a half hours drive. You can see the beautiful snowy peak on the top. So I do believe that uh, a lot of people stay in Taupo in the summer and the winter to do activities in the Tongariro National Park over there. The water's so clear, my love. Wow. Look at this, yeah. Ah, so this is what we've seen before. People trying to participate. In the hole of one. Oh, there's a oh, there's a water plant taking off there in the background. The noise of it, Jesus! That makes a lot of loud noise all of a sudden. Oi, right, back to the car. Off on another little adventure, Madeline. So we're just uh, we're just driving to this house this time. We've seen all these unusual houses. I think we've seen them before. They look so cool and new, and they have a view over the lake. So we're actually just going to a coffee roaster and buy Glen and brand of coffee because it's strange because I always say it's important to drink good quality of coffee. Yeah. Apple uh, house in the States are really cool. Really yeah, nice. it looks nice around here. So we're going to straight Boo Boo that's a funny name, Boo Boo Coffee Roaster. There it is, it's a bit out of the way to be honest. Yeah, it really is, Hopefully it's still open there, over there, right in go. front. It's an interesting location, Madeline. Let's see, is it still open? We have 15 minutes just to buy some coffee for Glen. Is it open, Madeline? <laughs> the coffee roaster. Hi. Hey, how are you? Oh, wow. Very cozy. Hi. Look at the big roasting machines, Madeline. It's awesome. So I think I'm gonna pick up some roasted beans. I'm not sure which one yet. So I'm gonna taste the coffee first before I make a decision. Isn't that right? What a nice view over Tapo. So we're just driving back. We're gonna go to the thermal parks now. The thermal park. Fascinating. It's apparently a park with some hot streams and stuff. Right, so there's a few like a few ponds around the place with yeah, geothermal. Yeah, but I don't oh. know if I want to swim there because there's a 
better one, a, a proper one. Well, I mean, we still check check out the free ones yeah. that are scattered around the park and see what it's like. Yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm still fascinated by this concept because yeah. I've never experienced such such a thing like in any anywhere I've traveled in the world. So. Exactly. So let's give it a go and check it out and show the show the guys, show it's, the audience. It's quite a big park. Right, we're walking on the trail here, checking it out, checking the park out. So. What do we have in store for us? Do not know anything about this park. Madeline just navigated me. Hey, are you well? Yeah, great day for It is indeed. Beautiful. Oh yeah. How are you? You okay there, Madeline? Getting a bit of bad energy. It's uh, it's actually called Otumueke Spa Park. Oh, come, I show you. That's what they actually say. River user. They have like several exits before the danger of the hookah falls. That's pretty cool. That's the hot water stream then that goes into the Waikato River. Yeah, it's it like a place for you because it's warm and then you can go right after in the cold one. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't expecting that now. So I have to say like this is a pretty cool, really preserved and well maintained place and it's for free. He and Taupo. You drop in, Madeline? No, you? I want to go to uh, another one. This is a free spa, though. We just arrived at Rairake Terraces. It's a hot pool. I mean, it's actually uh, also it's a renewable energy factory. Yeah, it's just there, yeah. Where they extract the geothermal for electricity over here. You can see the plant and the pipes. It's quite fascinating because they should actually have more of these around Where do you go? New Zealand. I'm just turning around and showing the factory. See the geothermal uh, factory. What we call it? Sure. I don't know factory. Factory. Right. Welcome to the Warakia. The Warakia thermal bath, is it? Am I pronouncing it correctly, Madla? Yeah. Awesome. How we don't? Enter the premises and making our way down. Look very and delightful. Yes. And the weather is yes. amazing. <laughs> it is. It's steaming hot around here. See the steam. steam is popping. Oh, it's very big, isn't it? Wow. How much should we pay to come in here? Twenty-seven dollars per person. Do you think it's worth it? It's a good price because there's a lot of you know places. It's like fifty dollars or more. True, true, so I true. Think Twenty-seven dollars is nice. And oh. they have a sun as well, Madeline. Oh no, they don't. Do they? Oh no, they don't. How are you supposed to put your things? Okay, everywhere and anywhere. Oh no. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, yeah. Ooh, I can't even, I can't even, the closer you get there, the hotter it gets, like. That's steaming hot, isn't it? That is really yeah, hot. Yeah. Like, You're uh, enjoying yourself, Madeline. Yeah. How long have we been here? Like two hours now? Yeah, but you were sitting outside talking to a fella. I know. I mean, it is, it's like quite, it is one of like, it's known to be very clean here as well. They clean it every week, supposedly. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah it's, it seems very clean, I have to say. I mean, you wouldn't experience anything like this. I think what I like is that they have so many, it looks like terraces, and they have different like water um, temperatures in the water. In the it's, it's it varies so much with so the water you temperature. you have yeah. at least, and then here in this big one, you can move It varies along. from what, 30? By 30 degrees to 45 degrees, it varies so much. You can have, you can find your perfect temperature. This is, I think, great. You can go from hot to cold. Not also, you have a cold shower. You have a cold shower. Let's follow me. And I think this is nice having this bridge. No passageway. You, you see this from expensive resorts in Asia. These bridges. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it in reminds Asia. me of. I think it's cool. And it's actually nice to come here for a sunset time. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Because the sunset comes right over. Nice. So, we hope you enjoyed our first impression of Tapo, and we highly recommend this geothermal spa as it's our favorite from all the ones we have visited. So, see you later, guys, and catch you in the next episode.